What's up guys, Smallbeans here and welcome to Beancraft episode 75. We are back in front of the tree which I have now finished and as promised at the end of last uh, yesterday's episode, or not last yesterday, like last episode, I said I'll show you when it is done. So it is now done. I've added water, lights, uh, vines and everything and it's looking splendid. So yes, this is the pathway up. So we have cage here obviously cage there then there's also the cage there then there's also this section up here where there are cages and there's a gap up there hmm okay that doesn't matter too much um but yeah there's cages here then you've got the walkway out over here where you can view over the zoo look at that oh isn't that amazing apart from those black lines what is going on there um but yeah the whole hedge has been put on now the hedge the leaves have all been put on and I think it looks pretty darn good, if you ask me. It's definitely one of the best things in Beancraft so far. Um, and probably the best thing in the zoo. Um, so I spent a long time on this. Putting those leaves on took a long time, you're telling me. And people just complain that I use creative mode. If I had gone and chopped all those leaves myself and made all the shears, that would have taken weeks. Um, so that's why I use creative mode, because it would honestly take so long if I didn't. And I'm sorry that I use it and people don't like that, but... It is uh, the only option for me because I have uh, college and stuff to do at the same time. So I want to get make these videos, but farming all the goods myself would just be boring. You just have to watch me. Uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't even watch that. I just cut it out. So there's literally it makes no difference for you guys. Um, but yes, I also added this little feature here to get into the jungle section. So now there's stairs down here, um, which leads to the jungle section. And I was thinking of having something up here. I was thinking maybe having like a lighthouse or something maybe. Like, I don't know, just something, like, not related to the zoo as such, but have, like, a lighthouse or something there, something interesting. Um, but someone has been suggesting in this in the comments for a while now, and that is to build a snow... Hey, what is the sheep doing there? Hey, dude, that's not really the place you want to be. And someone's suggesting doing a snowy area, and if we look on the map, we've got a big blank space over here, which has got nothing on it at the moment. So I think I may do a snowy area here. Uh, for all these snowy animals, which I can't actually think of any at the moment. The snow wolves, I guess, and the snow foxes and uh, other stuff. So yeah, I'm going to build a snowy area now, and uh, that's going to be the aim of this episode. I have been doing a lot of zoo episodes recently, and people have said, can I do some episodes other than the zoo? And I will think I will do that next episode, but I honestly have no idea what to do, guys. Show... Give me like a good quick comment now saying what you think I should do. Uh, should I start taming the animals, do you reckon? Do you reckon that'd be a good idea and for the zoo? But that is another zoo episode uh, if I did start doing that. But I suppose it'd be a bit different from just building and me just showing you what I've built. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments. Give me a quick comment because I do read the comments. That's where I've come up with the idea for this episode, the snowy one, because it had been voted to the top with lots of people wanting that. So yeah, I'm going to get started on the snow with this time now that made no sense i'm gonna get started on the snow stuff so yeah back in a bit thought this one would be quite a quick build but it's turning out to be quite a long one already just because i didn't take into account how long it takes to put down the snow um but yeah this is what i'm going to start off with this is going to be like the main entrance to it which is just going to be basically a little journey through the trees I need to clear those leaves out of the way slightly um but yeah it's just like a little nice little journey through the trees and then you'll come out here and this is where the cages will begin um but yeah i'm basically just putting down all this snow at the moment and adding a few trees to it and uh figuring out how it's going to look and it's going to like stretch out mm -hmm. over there Ooh, phone and round there and then come back and end somewhere around this area here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted a quick update, and I'll be back when all the snow is laid. Bang! There we go. Snowy, snowy, snow. What the heck did I just say? Um, yeah, we've got the snow in now, which is nice, and we've got all the trees, and we've got the path, and then I've got added in this little river type of thing, so you climb up here over this little bridge, and you come up here, and there's like a little river down running down there. You can see it here. It just leads off the edge and into connects to here. Um, and then we've got like a little small pond here as well, which is lovely. And it is very nice. It is a very nice little area. And now I'm going to start building the cages and stuff. And I'm thinking maybe igloo style. So I'm going to build them out of ice. The only problem with igloos is lighting them up. I think glowstone won't melt it, but I know lamps melt them. Um, but we'll see. I'll, tr I'll test out, see if a glowstone melts ice or not. 
If not, it's going to be quite tricky to light them up, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've discovered that glowstone does melt ice, which is not great. So I'm unsure how to light everything up <laughs> because everything just melts everything, which is not good because how is it going to be lit up? Um, so I've already built all these buildings out of ice and they're all going to melt if I put any... There's an argument going on behind me. I will be back in a sec. My sister missed a dental appointment. Tut, tut. Um, but yeah, everything's made out of ice and there's no way to light it up, which kind of sucks. Um, as everything just melts, which is not great, but I'm going to try and fix it. And here we have my igloo, which is kind of strange, um, but it kind of works, I think. I try to follow the circles guide to try and make it as circular as possible and it doesn't really look circular, but it'll do. It's good enough for me. It's an igloo and you'll come inside here. And as you can see, it's quite dark with the roof on, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, there's like one massive cage here, then there's a cage here, and a cage here. And it's pretty uh, sweet, if you ask me. I just ate some chocolate, sorry, my speech is messed up. But yeah, I'm just basically going around the path like this, and I'm going to go through here, and there's also going to be a path going to come up over here, and there's going to be a few cages over here. But you can also walk through the igloo so the path will meet up here and there'll be like something here as well. Um, but yeah, this area is looking quite nice. I'm going to fill it out with trees as well because I think the trees just add to it and it'll kind of enclose it and make it feel quite secretive and nice. Kind of like the jungle area. So yeah, uh, I'm going to continue on with this right away. Okay, so I kind of got the layout of the tree going now. I'm just going to crop that back. Um, but yeah, I've got the layout of the entire area going there's not that many cages but as i said when i was building the desert one i don't want that many cages anymore because i'm just running out of animals uh because i'm otherwise it's gonna be loads and loads of animals so we have the entrance here not near any glowstone because it melts it and we just come through all this wonderful forest up here and then we've got our first cage which we could go to on the right which is one there and we got another one here and we got one here and then there's like a little viewing platform so you can see into that one there. Uh, come down here, we're going to have like all trees over here. Then we've got the igloo uh, with three cages inside it, which is lovely. And then we've also got another view of this cage here, which we can ooh, look inside. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. What am I doing? Uh, look inside there, which is nice. Uh, then we just got like a little nice little walkway pathway here past the pond. And it takes you to the other exit over here. Uh, but we're also going to have two cages here. One here and one here. And then some steps leading up here. Then some like trees all the way around the edges. Uh, some of these trees turn out really weird like that one. What the heck is going on there? But some turn out really nice. Like I like this style. Like that looks really good. But some of them turn out like really dodgy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add all the rest of the wood in. And finish off the last few cages. But it's looking good. I just had a majorly stupid moment while watching a film. I'm watching a film called Stand By Me, which is like a really old famous film, uh, which has got Will Wheaton in it. If you know who Will Wheaton is, he's like, he was in Star Trek, I believe, and he's been in lots of things. I know he appears on The Big Bang Theory quite often and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, he's an actor and he's like, plays a kid in this. He's only like, looks like about 12 or so at the time. Um, and there's like an older version of him in the film who's telling the story and my first thought was why didn't they get the real Will Wheaton to uh, tell the story and like be the older person telling the older person because I know him as the older person uh, but obviously uh, he can't be because he was a kid at time, the time and playing the kid and is now like 30 years later so obviously he can't play uh, what am I saying Obviously, you can't play the the adult because he's he was a kid in it. It's just uh, the most idiotic thought that I had that I actually believed that uh, Will Wheaton was able to uh, ch like change his age for some reason. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd tell you that quick derp moment right there. Okay, so something really weird has happened. I was trying to bone mill this tree and a bunny seems to have lodged itself inside of me um which is really obscuring my vision oh is he gone oh there we go uh it came up with the option to name him but it's i just instantly clicked and then it's just what the heck just happened okay never mind <laughs> okay so welcome to winter wonderland we walk up these steps here and here it is it is greeted us by loads of trees 
And we're gonna go on a nice little forest walk all the way through here. And it's just quite polite, polite, petite, just quite nice, quite a nice little atmosphere. Climb up over the bridge, oh, we can look down there, oh, look, there's a river. Oh, look, there's a river that leads that way as well. Where does that lead? Oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we've got our two cages here. I've described all the cages, been through them all. And, oops, I've uh, accidentally blocked off the path of one of the trees here. So let me <laughs> just move that quickly. Um, but yeah, we've got another path here, which uh, takes us to the igloo. And we go inside the igloo and it's just lovely and nice and stuff in there. Then we've got another cage here, which is nice. A little nice little walkway through here as well. And then we've got all this stuff over here. We've got another two cages. And we've got all these trees towering over us. It's just like quite secluded. It's quite nice. Quite quiet part of the zoo. Quite quiet. Quite quiet. Um, and yeah, then finally we've got the exit over here, which leads us back out over here. Um, and yeah, it's turned out really well. It is a good little winter wonderland. Look at that. Wow, that looks cool on the map. Um, and it's kind of, I think I'm starting to corner off the zoo now. So this is the end of this corner. And then there's hopefully, I think I might build that lighthouse over there. And that's going to be the end of that corner. And then I think the path is going to go all the way down here. And we're going to have things in this area. Um... And then that will be uh, the end after that, once we get to this point, and then it'll come back round, and the wall will tail, like, caution it off or whatever. Um, so yeah, what should I do for the these sections over here then? Should I... I'm definitely going to have a petting zoo, as lots of people recommended that, and I think that's a great idea, so I might have that next up, just along here. And then I probably could fit in another thing as well, so what should I have for the last thing? And if you have think I should go on even further uh, I'm gonna build some like stables for the horses as such and uh, have some better stables because these ones are a bit small these can be like the ones where they go to stay and have a big field for them to run around in I think that'd be quite good um, but yeah it's turned out really well I am extremely happy with the zoo so far uh, the whole thing I'm just gonna go into the center of it and go on the map I'm looking forward to uh, putting the railroad all the way around it so people can like go on a rail cart track around it. It's going to be quite high, it's going to be amazing, it's going to be awesome. But if I click here and then go down here, we get a whole view of the zoo so far. So in that direction over there, if you can see my red arrow pointing, that'll be like a lighthouse, I think. I think that's going to be it for that direction. So the wall's going to come back around and then we've got everything over here and there's going to be like another few things there to finish it off. But yeah, look at that. That is an amazing view. I just can't get over it. Um, and people have been saying how they sh I should open my world to people to come look around the zoo. And that's not going to be a possibility, I'm afraid, because it's a 1.5.2 and they have shut off the servers. So I can't do that, unfortunately. But I am going to have a map download up with all the mods and everything which you will be able to see. So don't worry about that. You will get a view of the zoo and you will be able to walk around it yourself so don't worry that will be up at some point um but yeah that is it for another episode i think and yeah the zoo is just awesome i can't wait to get it finished i'm definitely gonna try and get lizzie and hopefully maybe a few others on to give her a tour uh, of the zoo when it's finished and uh we can that'll be like a whole video where i can show around it which will be awesome and hopefully some others but it's just getting like people online uh or people not people online people connected to my world which is easier said than done um but yeah it's coming along nicely and i love all the different sections i love the variety of it all and it is a good oh dear what was i doing there i zoomed in by accident oh dear that looks not good um but yeah i think this section has come along well i think that's a good section to the zoo next to the big tree and everything is just so awesome and i'm loving it so yeah guys thanks for watching i hope oh a tiger i hope you enjoyed the episode of beancraft i hope you enjoy the new winter area and yeah leave a comment what should i do next episode should i continue on building or should i um 
like start collecting some animals because that's going to take a long few process and which animals should i collect should i collect some for the desert bit should i collect some dolphins should i collect some for the jungle bit should i collect some for the underground layer um tell me in the comments what you should what you sh what you should do what i should do tell me what i should do um and yeah until then i will see you another time from the land of beancraft goodbye Ooh let's fly past the zoo bit Woo. yeah <laughs>